There are many dermatological diseases that can be described as eczema. Although if you ever hear eczema anywhere, they likely mean atopic dermatitis. It's a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, which means that there is immediate release of histamine and other pro-inflammatory mediators immediately upon contact with an irritant. And this, of course, involves immunoglobin E. So in cases of atopic dermatitis, we will have increased immunoglobin E. Upon contact with an allergen, the skin will be very red, very itchy, and will demarcate it. There can be some systemic symptoms as well, such as runny nose and having a high fever, although this requires direct contact with a lot of allergen. Itchiness, of course, is highly specific and it's a hallmark. And more specifically, pruritic eruption is the most common hallmark in atopic dermatitis. This disease is highly associated with other atopic or allergic diseases, such as asthma, allergic rhinitis, and some food allergies. So if it is diagnosed, the patient should be screened for other allergies. There are some genetic causes, such as skin barrier dysfunction, caused by mutation in the flagellin gene. This results in easy entry of the allergen into the skin and more reactions, of course. Interestingly, and perhaps what you'll see mostly in the exam, is that this condition affects the face during infancy, and then when the child grows up, it affects the anticubital area. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.